So I have this Hayward chlorinator. It is model number CL220. Not the first time this has happened. The check valve, which is, there, there is an inlet and an outlet. So this one is, let's see the direction here. Inlet, outlet. In the outlet, there's a check valve in this hole. This is not the first time I went to put this in the pool since it's the fall, it's the spring now, and this check valve snapped off, actually flush with the threads here. So it wasn't easy taking it off. I had to take a Dremel, it's plastic, cut into it, pry the rest of it out, and clean the threads. But ultimately, now it's a nice little hole there. So they sell this kit, Hayward does. Got it on, I want to say Amazon, maybe 12 bucks. It's the Hayward CLX220 uh, EA. Check valve and inlet adapter. So to replace it, it's, it's easy. You just basically s screw it in over here. Just do yourself a favor, do not over tighten it. All right, so what you want to do is open it up. Now, because I don't need the inlet side, I'm just gonna use the check valve. It comes as a kit, so you gotta buy, I should, I should say you have to buy both. The ch check valve is the one with the ball in it, this one. It screws in, I don't know if you can see, it screws in over here. You gotta use a little bit of Teflon tape. So, get something like this. Important to screw it in the right way. See how I'm turning it? Turn it co it's clockwise. Okay. So you want the you want the you want the tape to end going this way. So what I tend to do is when you face it towards yourself, you thread it on clockwise. So that holds with any of these things. So I'm just going to wrap it maybe three times. So I'm just going to take out a little bit here. This is the same. Luckily, it's the same gray as. Not that, it, not that it matters, this is outside. So we'll just do like three, wrap it three times. So facing me, goes one. Come on, not being careful. Two. Well, this is, this is embarrassing. But anyway, you get the idea. This is not critical. All right. There's the third time. So what I like to do is I like to push it on like this. And the key to this is to not over tighten it. It says it right in big letters someplace. This is important. Do not over tighten pipe fittings. Proper fitting makeup is hand tight plus one to one and a half turns maximum. Okay, and it says to use the proper tape. So I'm gonna hand tighten it. If I was smart, what I would do is just hand tighten it like this and attach it to the pool and that's it. And if it leaks, give it another little, a little bit of a tighten. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give it, let's call it one, this is as tight as I can get it by hand. Okay, so let's just take it like, this thing looks great, but it's not that easy to use. All right, so I'm just gonna give it one, one full turn, all right? Half, three quarters. That's it, all right? That is it. If it leaks, I'll tighten it more. So that's it. Got the check valve on this side, and it actually comes with the little white fitting, and it actually has the nut built into it. So I'll take the, the pipe that I have already, stick it through here, not the pipe, the tubing, Tighten it on, and that's it. So again, check valve kit for the CL220 Hayward chlorinator. If anybody's still using chlorine out there besides me. And that's it. Thanks for watching.